um, China's largest state-run censorship and propaganda agency, the Xinhua News Agency, which just launched today in Times Square in New York City. And the fact that China has bought this high-profile advertisement space in, uh, in, in New York City shows that China clearly wants to present itself as this open and democratic society. And, and it's, it, you know, it, it can only be further from the truth. The fact that Xinhua spreads lies in, inside Tibet and in China, and the fact that they're here trying to do those, trying to spread those exact lies here in New York City in, a more, in, in this open and democratic society is atrocious. And the fact that we're here and we're protesting today um, is because we want to defend free speech in New York City and defend the values that Americans share. who has organized this protest and I'm the USA grassroots director. Okay, great. And so can you just tell us about what this is for? We're here protesting China's largest uh, censorship propaganda agency, the Xinhua News Agency, and uh, the fact that China has bought this space here in the most high profile advertisement location in all of the in all of America just kind of clearly shows that China wants to present itself as an open and democratic society and it's, you know, it's, just not, it's just so far from the truth. And the fact that we're here is because we want to defend free speech in New York City and the values of the American church. And as a Tibetan, I know how much you know, lies that Xinhua spreads inside Tibet and in China. And Xinhua is a state-run propaganda, pro-censorship, pro um, agency and it should just not be here in New York City. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think them advertising here is, is doing? That China is clearly trying to just brainwash, trying to present itself as this open and uh, democratic society really uh, to, the, to the American public, to the New Yorkers and the fact that they are not pro free speech, they're not pro uh, you know, independence or not independence, I'm sorry, pro democratic, pro democracy, they shouldn't be here. They're spreading lies for China. They are the largest propaganda state run censorship agency and they should not just be here in New York City. And do you think that New Yorkers are buying this? They just opened today, they just started their agency today, and we're here protesting from the very get go. And we want to just raise awareness from the get go to the New Yorkers that. Xinhua is not as it presents itself, and it's not a pro, de uh, pro democratic, open uh, news agency. Mm -hmm. And so, when you see that advertising there, what does that make you feel? It makes me feel angry at times because the fact that I'm Tibetan and that Xinhua, which spreads lies inside Tibet, which censors everything that happens inside Tibet, is here spreading lies about China and about Tibet generally. And the fact that I'm here and be able to protest them, it makes me happy in that sense. And the fact that I can spread this awareness about Xinhua and China here to the New Yorkers makes me happy. I'm from Taiwan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, Manuel, how, why, what's the reason you would like to organize this? Well, I went to this from and we organized this protest. And we are here to protest Xinhua, which is the largest one propaganda censorship agency in, in China and the fact that they're here, the fact that China has bought this high-profile advertisement location in all of the United States in a free democratic country, um, we're, we're here to protest that. The fact that, you know, Xinhua is a state-run uh, pro-censorship agency should not be here in New York City and we're here to defend free speech and free media. So that's why we're protesting. Um, uh, who is the organizer of this? Uh, students for Free Tibet. And do you expect a lot of people to be here? And because I, today I see just uh, maybe less than 10 people, do you think it's satisfa satisfactory? I think definitely it is. Um, the Xinhua News Agency just um, started today. Like it, it started their uh, advertisement today. And the fact that we're here, even if we're in a small number, the fact that we're here and from the get go, from the second that they started their launch, we're here, it makes, uh, it makes a difference, I think. The fact that we're able to reach out to the New Yorkers here and reach out to the general public, I think makes a difference. 
And at the Tibetan, I know for a fact that Ch the Xinhua spreads lies inside Tibet, uh, inside in, in China as well. And the fact that you know we're here from the very beginning of the Xinhua being in here in New York City, in a free and open society. And the fact that we're able to protest that makes me uh, makes me happy that we're here, even though we're in a small number today. Uh, by the way, are you born in the States or in India? No, actually, I was born in India in a refugee settlement. Have you ever been back to your home in Japan? No, I have never had a chance to go back to Japan. Okay, so you must miss a lot, your, your home. Yes, um, missing my homeland, yes, definitely. And my grandparents, you know, they were the ones who escaped uh, Tibet as refugees. And the fact that my grandparents, my grandfathers passed away, Do you have any comments about Dalai Lama? Dalai Lama is, you know, our spiritual, he's our spiritual leader, he's, he's our father, you know. And um, we, you know, I mean, there's so many things you can say about what him. Do you right think what do you think of his retirement? Because he just uh, officially announced that he, he will retire and he will give the place to some younger generation. I mean, that's that's the message he sends, right? The fact that he's retiring from the political world and the fact that he's entrusting the younger generation, the newer generation, to take lead in a democratic society, place, it just shows that he places a lot of trust in us. And, you know, we want to carry that forward. We want to bring that, you know, make that true, make that a reality. So, I definitely think so. Just, you know, truly um, believes in a democratic society where the people, where the, where the new generation is leading. And I heard that there is some dispute between the uh, Tibetan ge younger generation because some of them don't agree with the Dalai Lama's principles. Do you, is that the truth? I'm sorry, what was the question? I mean, in, in, uh, in India, in the Tibetan base in, in India, there's some, a younger generation in, in India that they don't agree with the ideas of Dalai Lama. They want to, to take to more uh, stronger position against the China. Do you agree? They think Dalai Lama is too, too soft to China. I think, you know, um, that is the Holiness of Dalai Lama and the trans people, um, especially the younger generation, they both carry the same um, goal and heart, the same uh, aspirations to see a free Tibet, to see, you know, the Tibetan people living freely, to see the Tibetan people not being executed or tortured or arrested for, for simply exercising their free speech, freedom of movement, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, right? I think it's the same aspiration and the fact that, you know, there is differing views and opinions, but the fact that it's actually even flowering within an exile society shows that we are a democratic society, we are a democratic people in exile. And are you going to organize further activities like this in the future? Well, most definitely. You know, the fact that Shinra is here, and in such a prime location in New York City, we're going to be here, definitely, for sure. And is the date fixed for the next activity? The date is not fixed for the next activity, but you can be definitely for sure that we'll be here. Free speech! What do we want? Free speech! What do we want? Free